Yeah, look at the debris, guys, of the old bridge. So, hey, the origin of the name, it was called the Hoy, Hoy's Hoy. Bridge. So there was a white man called Hoy. That's why I proposed to go on Wednesday when the work is ongoing so that I can explain everything when they are there. Hey, David Wafula. Uh, <laughs> he says it was, that bridge was constructed, constructed in the year 1958, guys. Yeah, it was in colony. During the... Uh, uh, Kenyatta Stadium. Oh, yeah. during the colonial period. Yeah, what's up guys? It's I am Bonnie. Welcome to my channel once more. Uh, today it's a Saturday and I didn't go home because uh, there is some projects I am planning. And uh, what, there, are, there are somehow many. So uh, I want all of them to be in line so that when I go on Wednesday there, I can be able to film like about the well. Uh, there is also a subscriber who helped uh, buy my mom some beddings. Uh, and also a lot about the funding that has been given so I'll expose all of them once I'm at home because uh, it will be more convenient I'll show this for this project that has received this amount of money which is for the well and uh, for the chicken and also for the feedings of my of my mother yeah so that one I'll speak about on Wednesday because when I will be there and when I also when I have also put uh, some items yeah and also the, the grocery yeah, subscribers uh, sponsored some some gro a grocery for the whole month for my mom, and that is so great, you know. Yeah. So I've not even told my mom. I wanted to be a surprise when I go home. I just tell her, here is this. This what I have come with, and this and this as I make a video, because I recently learned that it's good to make a video of everything you you are you are doing, especially uh, especially uh, with this funding, you know, donation. Yeah, it, it makes everything look transparent, you know, and like, yeah, because sometimes I, I, I there are some things I've, uh, like, there are some donations I have uh, executed, but I've, I've not filmed. So, uh, but I recently learned that uh, it's good to film. Yeah, so I didn't film yesterday because uh, about school and everything, but um, I try my best. Yeah, I try my best to to ensure that I make a video about something, you know, good things about them here on ground. Yeah, so you, you so you also learn something about Africa because that's that's our main mission, you know. You may get entertained here, you learn something, and that, that is good. And life goes on. Yeah, so that is it. And uh, what I was, uh, I on, on Wednesday I had gone to a small town called Moist Bridge, where I had gone to seek for experts who could uh, cr crash the rocks. Yeah, there are some uh, rocks inside the well, 38 feet down the well, 38 feet, that are preventing uh, more digging so that uh, we reach the permanent water table. Yeah, so I was seeking, uh, I was seeking uh, experts because uh, everything has its own expert. Yeah, so I met them and uh, today they managed to, they, came, they, they went home yesterday, they assessed it and then today they went to some chemicals. So my main aim was, I was thinking, before I met them, I was thinking we can get experts who uh, who blow the rocks like as they do in the as they do in the in the mining area, like in the quarry. But uh, when I when I when I approached them and when we talked, uh, they they proposed another op option which is more convenient to them. They say that uh, there are some chemicals that you mix with water and uh, it is uh, this chemical is so it has a lot of pungent smell so i don't know i was guessing if it is sulfur or anything yeah and it is somewhat expensive 150 dollars i paid for that and then they went and so they mix with water and uh, they pour it in the well it has pungent smell and then uh, it is absorbed in the rocks like it is just something <laughs> you know we learn every day yeah so and they leave it for three days and then they come, they use some tools just to crash on the rocks and they, they easily crash. So these chemicals, like, they introduce cracks in the rocks so that it is easily crashed, you know. And uh, that's another, that's the, sorry, that's technology. Yeah, so they went today home and uh, as you can see in this picture, I was sent my, by my brother who, who helps me in coordinating a lot of activities over there. And uh, they went there, so I wanted to go. So uh, they went today, they poured some chemicals 
those chemicals there they did their job and then they went back and then now they'll be back on Tuesday that's why I proposed to go on Wednesday when the work is ongoing so that I can explain everything when they are there and also I show you about a lot of things going on there at home yeah so that is it guys as you've seen uh, those images there's there are actually images not a video yeah because they went there some chemicals you've seen in the in the in the in, the, in those Im images yeah so uh, that is it so i want you to see this video also i took in most bridge so you learn something small about the kenyan town and um sorry i still if i if i'm speaking fast <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to speak slowly. Yeah, so I want you to learn something small about this Kenyan town called Moise Bridge. So a small story behind it is that uh, it was named after a white man. You know, we had colonialists. Yeah, so so there is a bridge. That bridge is called, it was called Hoy's Bridge. H-O-E-Y and then uh, apostrophe S. So Hoy's Bridge because it was, it was named after a, a leader who was in that area called Hoy. But later there is a president, the second president of Kenya called Moi. So when he toured the area, he changed the name. Yeah, now we had independence. So I think he, he, he thought it wise to change the name. Yeah, so you'll see it, everything here plus the flooding. You, I, I know you'll learn something and you'll enjoy it. Welcome guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, and if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Watch this video. Yes, guys, it's the rainy season. Look how rainy it is. And I took a video in it. Yes, it is a season to rain. Yeah, that's the silos, May silos. Yeah, those are the maize silos, stores, the maize stores. This is this, uh, where maize is stored. And this is the rainy season, guys. So it's a sign that the planting season is here. Yeah. So I'm in a town called Mosbridge. So you can see businesses like traders have closed their stores downwards there is towards Ketale town and towards this direction is towards uh, Eldore town so this is moist bridge yeah there is two maize there like it's a it's called a it's a, it's a government initiative called called the strategic maize reserve Strate strategic grain reserve so they store it for dry season so when there is a uh, hunger they distribute it you know they sell it cheaply to for human consumption when there is a famine, drought and famine. And that's the railway station, guys. Yeah, so a train passes through here. Yeah, from Eldoret. There is a branch from Eldoret. So the train from Nairo from Nairobi to from uh, Nairobi to uh, Uganda, there is a branch in Eldoret that comes to uh, here in uh, that comes here to uh, Moist Bridge. So that's the uh, station. So I, let me zoom a little bit, guys. Yeah, so that's, that is the head of the train, and that's, those are the wagons. Yeah, the cabins that, cover, that carry the... And these are new power balls. They are concrete. They are being installed here. Yeah, so it, they are replacing the, the traditional... Um, the traditional uh, poles. Uh, by that were in in form of uh, trees, the trees, the trees, the three poles. So now, currently nowadays, they are, these ones are more durable. And they are environmentally environmentally friendly because there is no cutting down of trees. Yeah, so they are uh, in, environmentally friendly. Yeah. So here is a uh, a railway line. Yeah. And there is a station there, railway station. And you can see the weather, guys, like it is raining. Look, look, those are rain clouds, like they, they show that they are dark. So in the horizon, you can see it is raining. So it's, it actually rained here, you can see. It actually rained here. And uh, it is raining in the horizon there. 
So this is the season of the year that the farmers are now planting their crops, especially the plant, the maize, the maize, yeah. We plant maize crops, you call corn. Yeah, so I'm just walking down here. It's been a while since I, I came to Moist Bridge. So I came here to look for a, a person who can break, who can crush a rock using machines uh, inside the, the well, that it feet down the well. Yeah, but I found someone, he will go and check the well tomorrow. So I, fo I found time uh, just to move around. And uh, because it's been time, when I, whenever I came here, I was just on transit, like going, for, going to different, going uh, uh, to dif pursuing different activities, like, you know, so I was you not know, on transit. But no. today I had time, so I must be here. Yeah, so I just, I want to see another, there's a bridge down here. Oh, this is the river, guys. Yeah, river in Yosako. You need the Raja Kitambo. You need the Raja Kitambo or Sungu. Yeah. Oh, I am told that uh, this, uh, the hanging bridge the there, former. yeah, it is the former bridge. It was constructed by the colonials. In 1958. 1958. Yeah, 1958. Yeah, he says. David Wafula. He says it was, that bridge was constructed, constructed in the year 1958, guys. Yeah, it was colony. During the Stadium. Yeah. During the colonial period, yeah. wow! And then now, when first of, when that one now was uh, was uh, not in not in good condition, this one was constructed. Yeah. This one. So this is like I told Moist Bridge, for me. Okay, you okay? I eat raja. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's a hoist bridge. Hoist, yeah. Then you know, zoom, hoi. I want to hoi. Yeah, look at the debris, guys, of the old bridge. So, hey, the origin of the name, it was called the Hoi, Hoi's Hoi. Bridge. So there was a white man called Hoi. Uh, Hoi. That's why Hoi's Hoi. Hoi Bridge. So the, Hoi, the Moy's Bridge, wakati yeah. utawalo wa Moyungu umetoka, Moy wakati anapita hapa kienda kapenguria, uh -huh. ya kapatishe ni Raja kaitua Moy's Bridge. Oh! Kwa utawalo wa Moy. Yeah. So look at the, how extensive the river guys is. This, this is a river. Yeah, so let's look it from another angle. So these are two guys. And you can see how dirty water it is because of the rain water. Yeah, so that's a river. It's called River Nzoya. Yeah, so I've said the, the history. So it was first called uh, Hoy's Bridge because of a white man called Hoy. Uh, it was constructed in the, in the year 1958, that bridge. And you can see how strong it is, the pillars. So it has around uh, more than 60 years. And um, later, uh, during there is a priest in Kenya who was called Moy. So when he was going to Kapenguria, Kapenguria is this direction. He, co he converted the name. Now the colonials were, were off. They had gone. So he converted the name to Moy, like to his name. Moy's Bridge now. And now the town there is called Moy's, Moy, Moy's Bridge also. Moy's Bridge town. Yeah, and Meales of Izuri. Yeah, so this is a very good tour. You need to go to Missouri. Can you imagine a young cup? Yeah. Who is a young cup? Yeah. So guys, I'm told water always overflows, yeah, like it always fills here and even what overflows. Uh, that's why you want to take me up to the market and take me up to Oh, up to the Oh, so that's like, uh, so that's why it, some water here is used uh, in that uh, treatment plant. Yeah, your treatment plant. Yeah, that project. That project there, guys, it's a water treatment plant. So it treats water that is, it is supplied in this municipality. Yeah, so that is it, guys. Why not think it's a cabisa? Like, you can see how wide this river is, guys. 